Susan Root, who uh, is with IEEE, she's going to lead this session. All right. Great. Thank you so much. Very excited about this. So, I'm going to ask you to think about a time when you did something that had a big positive impact on somebody or something, okay? When you've done something that had a big positive impact. And it could be something in your educational life, right? It could be something with your family or friends or maybe with a group that you belong to. So um, think about what it was that you did that, had, that made this impact. What were the circumstances? What do you remember most, right? And who knew about it? Just you? Other people know about it? How did it make you feel? And how did others feel about it? So a time when you had an impact on something or a, a project or someone where you had a major positive impact, okay? And now I want you to turn to your right and I want you to share that with the person next to you. And you're going to have five minutes, so this is quick, it's quick, and you probably have a hundred things going on in your mind. Actually, I'm having really trouble share some of the what you heard at the table um, were there common themes were you uh, uh, common circumstances common emotion you know how did you feel Does anybody want to talk and share what you were what you were feeling what this important uh, moment was okay do you want to share what your partner had to say <laughs> yes um, mine was so I was a tutor in community college for three years uh -huh. And it was always like at first I, I started tutoring because I, it was paid well and I could share knowledge, but like it became so much more than that afterwards. Like I was actually like there, like helping helping it all of them grow, yeah. and that was. I was gonna expand upon that. So you wanna know like success and, and stuff like that? Why why it was worked out the way it did? Because like you you know that people, you're kind of like you're taking people who they had an image of what they wanted. They wanted to gain knowledge and they wanted to feel smart about you know about what they're doing. And then they're in these classes that don't always make them feel that way because they're struggling. Ah, so yeah. um, then you, you, by explaining to them in an easy way, you're not only allowing them to you know, learn that knowledge that they wanted to learn, but they were able to feel like they came to it on their own. And so like, yeah. there's, they, even though, you know, like, so, so it ends up that they feel accomplished and it helps us feel accomplished too because we're able to do our job in demonstrating it. You know? Okay, so accomplishment and then helping them um, and it's like what, true yeah, empowerment. They, it's yeah. true, it, helping and them. They, it's giving them what power. they really did want. Yeah, you're yeah. not just telling them the answers. You're, you're helping guide them to the solution. Empowerment and to the solution. So, like, you feel, I mean, you feel fulfilled in some way, right? I mean, it, it, they feel good, you feel good. Mm -hmm. Great. What else? Feel good, accomplishment. Yeah, Chris. Well, we were talking at the table here about um, whether the person who's making the impact actually gets more out of it, you know, how do you measure it, but how sometimes the very smallest things you do, the, the kind word or the pat on the back or you're remembering something about another person, um, that those little things sometimes have an impact you can't see, but they resonate throughout a life in ways you can't imagine. Oh, that's good. So small things can really resonate. So you know, kindness, right? Something you didn't expect. Oh, what else? How else did you feel? Pleased? Yeah. Yeah. Quiet. Okay. I get emotional talking about that stuff. 
emotional? Well, because it does bring back, you know, what's what's really important in life, and as opposed well, to what good, seems right? to consume most of our lives. So what's important? I'm not supposed to be talking because I'm old. <laughs> okay, good. Good, I like that. So, you know, what's interesting is, you know, the set of like really positive things that come from it, right? I mean, nobody is sort of delved into, you know, some the abyss somewhere. It all was very uh, generative. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I mean, like one of the things we're talking about is like, because when you tutor or when you're a TA, you get feedback forms. It's like, and sometimes, like, uh, the students will always rate themselves low, like, as far as, like, what they learn, and, like, you know that they understood it because they explained it to you, and it's like, they still don't have that confidence, and, like, that's, that's almost, like, disappointing, like, you feel like you failed them when that happens. All right, so you think you're building confidence. Yeah. And, you know, maybe the timeline for that's a lot longer than one course. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Timeline up here. Okay, cool. That's good. All right. So, so here we go. So, um, what I'm thinking is that um, I'd like for us to sort of think about the future right now. So, you know, there's a real transformation going on in the way we interact and we engage. Um, new technologies, uh, the the opportunity for experiential learning, mm -hmm. and keeping this in mind. Let's think about this event, the event that you've attended today, uh, URTC. And so this is what we would call a scholarly conference, right? Because presentations, you had the plenary this morning, uh, you had research that was being read out. Um, you know, maybe this may be the first time you've done research and, and read out in that way. And this is something we've been doing, you know, for a long time. It's honestly the first time uh, IEEE held a conference was in 1884 in Philadelphia. So it's really sort of a, it's, a it's, it's something we've been doing for a long time. So the question is, knowing what we know today, how would we like to change this event moving forward? So if we could envision this event, the URTC, in the future, what would you want to see? Um, what things would be part of the event? Um, and they may seem out of reach to you right now, but really anything's a possibility here. Anything's a possibility. So the assignment that I have for you, and I really had fun with these chalkboards. For those of you who are here, this is really <laughs> yes. awesome. It's a great new technology. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> it is. It's just wonderful. So what I'm going to ask you to do is work in your tables. You might have noticed you've got stuff, you know, sort of creative stuff. You can use it. You don't need to use it. But what I want you to do is think of the URTC, the agenda. I want you to think about the agenda, the content, in 2020. And focus on, so what, would the, what, what speakers would be here? Um, what would the agenda look like? What would the room be like? You know, you were in a, a traditional room setting there. Um, what kind of room would you envision for this? Uh, what kinds of experiences would you have? Uh, would it be just listening? Would it be Q&A? Would it be something much bigger than that? What kinds of interactions and what kind of fun stuff would be going on? Right? What, you know, what kind of um, important takeaways and learnings would you have? So shaping the agenda, we're going to give this input, this is important, uh, we're going to take these learnings, and you know what, by the end of the day we're actually going to vote on uh, five takeaways. So, I mean, this is not just dreaming out there, we're going to take this and move this all the way to some solutions that we can hand to the conference organizers for next year. So, um, this, is, this is the context of it, but what I want you to do is as you think about that, Work in your tables, up here, Ta -da! possibilities. So what I want you to do is, as a way of presenting and sharing what you thought of, is to de design an event app for the conference, perhaps. Or maybe draw a map of the conference. Um, create a program guide, maybe. Sketch a web page. Draw a logo, explain it, maybe even give it a new name. Uh, write a song if you want, right? There's some stuff on the tables. You could write a song. Do a commercial. Could be a skit. 
write a story for a tech magazine. We had the best conference. It was such a breakthrough, you know? <clears throat> write that story. Create a comic strip or anything else you want. You've got stuff on the table. And what I'm going to do is, for each table, work together, uh, look at this conference in 2020, and think about an expression of it uh, right here. Hmm? Possibilities for the future of my idea. Yes. Okay. And you're going to work together at the table, and I'm going to give you 30 minutes or so, 30 or 40 minutes. I'll check in with you and see how you're doing. Um, but uh, 30 to 40 minutes, and then what we'll do is we'll read out. We'll share with each other um, what we came up with. Okay, so it could be uh, or let's see, my my own idea or not all of them. You're gonna work dancing. together, so you're, everybody's idea is out on the table, and you're gonna co-create what you think this conference would look like in 2020. You're gonna co-create. You'll have half an hour, and everything at your table. And you know what? You're welcome to barter with other tables if that if that helps. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 this is pretty good. I like, I like what we have. Like, th this year, because you get to look at people, and meet people. I, I think that's that's a much more effective. We do a timeline like this. So, what you, um, so what you were saying was that you know, start and you have some talks in the beginning, kind of introduce maybe like maybe the introduction to. Uh, and then you do a tour. Program with a different theme. Like last year was the year for civilization. And then there could be themed showcases, like what stuff, like little things, you know, like this could be a demonstration of a battery or solar panels. And then those people, <laughs> if you tell all of them in a meeting, then if any of them are advisors, then they can tell their advisors. So I think that is very doable. Um, so I think that, and the way that that usually works is actually pretty easy. You, as long as you put it on their radar, they're happy to refer people to that anyway. Because they always want more time with students, right? Because oh, how does like a problem? Oh, it's two and two, to like this. Talk to people or something. And I'll obviously agree to do There's yeah. only one way. Take yeah. yeah. them out? Yep. Yeah. 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 So we're going to yeah. draw randomly, <laughs> we're going to draw randomly here, and Bruce, who's on the organizing committee, okay, is so going to do that. As you hear from Susan, sometimes you're doing things by design, and sometimes you want to throw in a little randomness. So uh, you guys have been doing designs, we're about to do the randomness. So I'm not, I, I will not look at the randomness. Random. So the first uh, group will be the ones who are, have a table with pink. The red. So red. when you sat red. down, red. like underneath, you were blue. Oh, what's underneath? Okay. So green. You were. We have a thing. Orange. Orange. Blue. You think you were red? Oh, they were red. I think orange. Here we go. Okay, you're first. All right. Everything. That's great. Oh no. Such a lot. Stand up and share. Share your thoughts here. Okay, so we had a couple ideas um, for how to make this a little bit louder. Can use your big voice. All right, we had a couple of um, ideas for how to make this conference better. Um, uh, we wrote down a list of you know stuff that you could put in. One of them was to encourage um, more social media through a Twitter display and maybe like a photo booth. Um, another was to have a Q&A session with the keynote speakers and corporate sponsors. Um, we also wanted to put in video streaming to bring the conference to other spaces so you're not just confined to like this one room that you know we stayed in for too long. In. Um, and we could also um, incorporate fun demos into the conference, like maybe have lab tours or bringing new technology. So um, one of our members had that, um, she did a name printing thing using electronic lith lithography, which I thought was really cool. Um, or you could have just you know, plain old fun stuff like um, make light of shirts. Um, we also said that we should reorganize the schedule and maybe split up the presentations um, and intersperse them with demos in order to make it less um, 
long. And um, we had a couple of ideas for how to change the logo and the name, which <laughs> but yeah, um, like MIT moving to tomorrow. Yeah, um, we thought that we could change the um, slogan to move into tomorrow instead of meet innovative technology. Um, we also wanted to incorporate one big theme per year, so each year you would change what the focus was, and that would bring in more people from year to year. Uh, we also wanted to um, create theme sweats um, that would be based on whatever presentations were being given. And um, we also played around with the idea of maybe including a judging process in this to make it more competitive and like provide prizes to people. talking about like um so we kids started like so while they were talking about all the meaning and stuff we were trying to find a slogan so we thought how about three like bubbles that look like would look like a flashlight no it's then a light bulb a light bulb whatever and the um initials stsc which equals student technology study conference <laughs> Cause, cause the other one was quite hard to memorize. So. <laughs> 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 okay. So we are um, taking the ideas and putting these yellow things up so we're going to be able to vote a little later. So Bruce, you want to pull the next uh, color? So just maybe before we do that, I was just curious to know, you know, as this team shared their ideas, so does anyone want to either ask a question of this team, something that they're curious about, or do they want to build? Is there anything anyone wants to build? If you were going to build on this idea, what would you add to what you heard? Maybe one or two uh, thoughts in response. I was going to say like, very similar, like some of the ideas were similar, so when we do it. Yeah, we don't want okay. to. Okay, you're going to build when you get there. Okay, this is good. And I think there was one more. Yeah. Feedback? It is similar, and I, I like that everyone really got involved. Yeah. All right. Cool. Excellent. Well, thanks. Okay, let's pull the next. Okay, yeah. let's pull the next. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Random, random. Okay, who's up? Light blue. Light blue. I think that's the center. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> yes, we're all going. Oh, oh. Hey, can you start writing? Can you start writing? I want to paste it so I can make it so So just like the themes, I'll speak around the board. I'll talk about the topic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. So, welcome. So, we, we, yeah. Uh, we focus a lot on the structure of the conference, um, as well as kind of like the, the, not so much like changing the events, but just, just uh, spreading things out, like sitting in the same room all day long, kind of uh, tedious and tiring in and of itself. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I just want to say, one, the one thing that we were trying to address was the tiredness, was the general tiredness. So, we saw, we kind of identified the problem. And we wanted to come up with what we thought would be a decent solution. So it is still a research conference. It still is something that yeah, that you need that we're here to learn, learn about new technologies. But we thought by mixing high and low energy events, we can get people uh, that you know who it will give you a chance to um, get some get your energy up. And then when you sit in a low energy event, you won't be, feel tired. Yeah. So, you, so right. um, yeah. So so first form was getting people out to the event early and early. Food. Yeah. So, so like kind of good. like if you want to eat, get there early. Yeah, <laughs> breakfast. You got bacon, eggs, non meat. Yeah, anyways, stew, breakfast. So coffee, omelets. Yeah. <laughs> so we start with breakfast, and then we move in with Professor Awesome, and yeah. you know get more like the kind of like this morning where we started off with professors giving us talks about their research, um, kind of get us pumped on the idea of research and like seeing how. Um, a lot of well-established professors are doing something similar to the students. You guys want to talk? This one. Add to that? 
Yeah, but so I guess part, like, yeah, so the next part um, would be kind of like a, you know, get the blood flowing, like take a tour of like the campus, get to know like what the innovation, what innovations are going on at the campus where the conference is taking place. Like for example, like touring like the MIT Media Lab or like CSAIL or so on. And then we'd move into, uh, I guess, presentations by graduate students or undergraduate students that are presenting at the conference. Yeah. Very similar to today. Yeah, so we just throw that tour in the middle there instead of just going, you know, in yeah. line with all the low energy. You got, in one yeah. room. and you have lunch for, you know, you sit down, you, you, you get to eat again. Um, and then you move into, like, somebody, uh, your MVPs, so, so, because now everybody's fed, everybody's kind of awake, um, and everybody's there. So yeah. make sure that, um, then you could do some, like, have somebody important, like the president of IEEE, um, kind of address everybody, and I, I think it would be a, a good time of the day to do that. Yeah, because like first thing in the morning or, or at the end of the day, like first thing in the morning, everyone's still waking up, not really fully paying attention. End of the day, everyone's tired, they just want to be over and go home. Mm -hmm. So having the like important people speak in the middle, uh, we feel <coughs> would get the, more people actually engaged and listening to them. Uh, then we're talking about moving into the project. Yeah, and then after that, you can do something a little bit more interactive, like the do-it-yourself projects, kind of like what we're doing right now with all the crazy fun and crafts, maybe some light-up shirts. Um, what other kind of cool like ideas are there? Yeah, just like small, Renewable simple energy. Yeah, something, I don't know. Just, yeah. Something more social, where people can talk to each other, cross-pollinate ideas, um, stuff like that. And then we can move into uh, something like a... Tabling. Event tabling or, or posters. Tabling. Research. Kind of like a science fair, you get to see some cool uh, undergraduate research, maybe talk more about the ones you didn't get the chance to ask questions about, like during the day or during the actual presentation. Yeah, so all the students can come here and like have poster presentations as well as, like, like right now we have the tables outside with the various other IEEE uh, representatives and, and colleges, because I know it's the Northeastern's there. And then um, potentially at the end we just threw in a movie just in case, like, that, that sounds like a, kind of a cool idea. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Something so, science yeah. themed, like Interstellar, Interstellar or mm -hmm. The Martian. Something just kind of cool to wrap up the day. Yeah. Oh, and we we're going to suggest like some themes that we liked. Uh, he, he, yeah, you were going to go. Oh, yeah. Some of the topics we thought could be discussed in 2020 would be uh, artificial intelligence, uh, autonomous vehicles. Maybe they're more fleshed out at this point. They've had some success, some problems. We'd like to talk about how those are doing. Maybe uh, new energy. Maybe uh, there's new energy out that's been released, uh, materials. I don't know, optic fiber, maybe there's uh, gravity being used as energy. We don't know. Uh, Hi Hyperloop, one of our students is actually working on Hyperloop right now. <laughs> We'd like an update on 2020 on how that's doing or how successful it's been. Wearable technology. Uh, yesterday as part of the IEEE student branch conference, we had uh, shirts that were wired with uh, small microcontrollers. Maybe wearable technology has advanced by the age of 2020 and we'd like a discussion on that. And also new materials being made, uh, such as graphene, atom-thick materials. By 2020, there's probably going to be a lot of new materials that are released. We'd like a talk covering some of those. That's, that's it. Okay, cool. Woo! Can we keep going? Yeah, let's keep going. Great job. Okay, here we go. Orange. 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 Yeah, glad we're here. Orange. Yes. What? Oh, are we not taking? Yeah, we have to. Gentle, gently now. Put on the side. Here, here, put it here. Here, hang it up right here. I think it's right. I don't think it's right. We're just gonna hold. Okay. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah. All right, who's the spokesperson? Uh, I'll start off with the introduction and then you take over from there. Oh! oh. oh. Uh, too low! Okay. Oh! <laughs> okay, so for our concept, sorry, oh. <laughs> for our concept, we really wanted to rethink the flow of the conference. So, uh, what we've had so far this past weekend and at other conferences is you have a very strict schedule and you have to be at a certain place at a certain time and go to lectures and sit down. 
We wanted to make it more interactive where you can go to different places at different times. So have uh, posters over here and you could see the current research that students are doing. And also you can mingle with uh, other students and industry professionals uh, with snacks and in the eating area. Uh, you want to sure. take over? And then, yeah, we, we definitely want to kind of have some more hands-on opportunities, experience, uh, opportunities to get more experience and new technologies and things like that. So that's what the hands-on workshop uh, is. Uh, and then obviously some space to mingle. And then, of course, the corporate, the corporate sponsors are always going to be important if we want to have good food and, and all sorts of fun events and, and, and plenty of stuff to do. And then also for fun, we, were, we weren't quite sure, but then someone said we should have a bouncy castle. So this is a bouncy <laughs> castle. So It's only if we have enough funding, though. Yeah, so. but that's, where, that's why the corporate sponsors are important. We need a corporate sponsor. Maybe, maybe there's a bouncy ca castle manufacturer who wants to sponsor. That'd be great. I don't know. But. Um, we also wanted to incorporate um, lab tours because of... Uh, one of the great things about um, research is that there's lots of product that comes out of it, but it's not, it's not really visible when you go to see a presentation with you know, PowerPoint or whatever. You want to have an opportunity to actually take a look at the lab, see what people are doing, um, see like, how they do their work maybe that, that interests you. Um, and then also incorporating um, an app on your phone that everybody at, at, the, uh, at the event has that would allow you to locate people based upon their research and maybe other criteria you've been interested in talking with them about. So you can basically get personalized recommendations like this person is, is learning or working on this, so you might be interested in talking to them because you like you know, materials or semiconductor properties or whatever. So you can find people based on that and um, have a chat with them about what they do. And I guess just to reiterate, um, basically the best thing about these conferences is to meet a bunch of different people, a bunch of students from all over. So it's it would be great to have just segment, segmented times and even just a free flow, flow thing like this where people can just talk and just share their ideas and not just have a completely regimented schedule. And we would also have a new IEEE mascot. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's what he's doing. <laughs> Uh, not yet. He will in 2020. Give it five years. Question, please. Why is there a bug on your snack table? Oh, those are to represent the people in our conference. Yeah, so by 2020, we think, right? Yeah, we didn't have tiny. Sorry. Oh, it's a hands-on turkey close to Thanksgiving. And turkey. We're a little goofy. Yeah, a little. We want to we want to go back to elementary school too, like or preschool when you you know you made the turkey hand like. Well, Any other questions? At least the bug is not a snack. No, <laughs> it's eating the snacks. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Okay. I think okay. that's it. Cool. Okay. okay, is there still time for one more random drop? 50 50? 50 50, all right, here we go. That's where you like hold one in the one hand, one in the other hand, and then we see if there's one in either hand. Okay, let's go. Blue, dark blue. Blue, dark blue. Here we go. Blue. Should we take it up or? You can stay there if you want. Okay. So our conference is like super chill. <laughs> I would say that's like the theme. So number one, nothing starts before 10. <laughs> Everyone's just more productive, well rested, just makes for an overall better experience. Oh yeah, so our second thing is to make it a really fun conference. We're going to have our speakers all write segues, so you can distinguish who they are. And then they'll be giving all their presentations on their segues, which they do get to keep after the conference. Oh, wow. yeah. 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 More mobile, more interactive. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so they can move around more. And this more is actually ideas. the model of our speaker on the segue. Yeah. And the new mascot of the conference. So. <laughs> right. Um, we'd also want to have, like, Rather than just one speaker and everyone's at one speaker, there would be like multiple talks going on at the same time. Um, you could use equipment like Oculus to like tune in to different talks that are going on at the same time. Uh, we would also like to have a, uh, we like the concept of this, uh, how the kids this time presented the uh, alternative to Amazon boxes and more of such uh, <laughs> presentations and sections with more of presentations in fact. 
from like high school kids. High school kids yeah. and maybe even younger. Yeah, and then um, in reference to like the workshops from <laughs> last night, we want to have like more mixing of technical fields with like art fields and see that kind of overlap and get the creative juices flowing. It's pretty important. Is that a new chair design? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was like going to be the big reveal. Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> so, just so everyone is comfortable and relaxed, in addition to being well rested, you have these chairs. They would potentially hang from the roof. Yeah. yeah. They'd be like hanging so, hammock chairs. So, the attendees are sitting in the chair as well. Yeah. 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 A lot of infrastructure. We're also Training thinking jobs. that the um, ever, everyone who's attending would sit in a circle, and the speaker would be in the center. Yeah, to make it more conversational. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> they could do laps. Yeah, that's it. Or do you want to? No. Do you want to say? We also wanted to have more diverse. Make sure that really diverse topics of talks, so everyone at least has some interest in some talk going on, and. Uh, Especially when talks are uh, very close to each other or uh, happening at the same time, topics should be diverse enough for people not to have to choose between two. Yeah, that is, I guess, it's fine. Yeah. 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 Oh, sure. Can, can we play bumper chairs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, 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 let, me, let me see if we pull the last one out. Okay, can we pull the last one out to be sure it is you at this table? Or you want to just go? I think you should pull. Okay. Okay, wait, is this time I can look? I can look. Wait, I have a purple one. Okay, wait, 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 uh, so we had kind of a process where we went from how we're going to do what we're going to do beforehand and then how we're going to get people there and then how to make it easier for them once they're there and how to keep them engaged during the event. And so how, how it started to be a little bit more marketing, that like a promo video, it could be like a Rube Goldberg machine, something sort of entertaining, interesting, science-y, and then uh, work with the IEEE sections to um, like email their uh, in individual groups, there's schools that they work with, uh, the students in all those lists, and then just kind of do a little more advertising that way. Um, and then we're going to talk about talk about the app. Yes. So we'll and uh, uh, we, we know that we have the uh, IEEE mobile app uh, um, in uh, um, iOS application, uh, like uh, iOS apps store. But we will uh, try to more, more e easier and more efficient to the app. Uh, like we want to try to add some features extra for the app. So the, we can uh, easily, uh, all of our um, annual uh, conference sessions put in the, like a, put in the link inside the app so people can, or members can easily um, use the app and they can easily go through, watch the video of our application, through our application. And beside this, uh, uh, we will um, create some extra feature like um, uh, push notification push notification so where the like the building is located how the conference looks like more details about everything our mailing system our building number and the parking system as well so and uh, beside this um, uh, we are thinking like our parking system suppose it's a different con con conference uh, uh, locating different location like it's not always be MIT it could be the um, Harvard or could be the uh, like uh, NYU but uh, people come to our con uh, conference and they um, park their car so Sometimes we don't have to uh, chance to go to the um, car to extend our ticket. Like uh, we can easily uh, extend our parking time from our app, mobile application, IEEE application. So it's uh, very uh, easier for the like they can. Uh, otherwise they're gonna get ticket in the road. 
So my like intention to develop uh, a feature of our application so it uh, easily um, people can extend their parking ticket through the application and the city gonna or the management gonna get ticket go, like uh, got money and um, it has the credit card or debit card system. So it's uh, because conference is a very important session. So suppose somebody, author or management, they um, know that uh, their parking ticket gonna be ex extended, they expired, so they're gonna get ticket. So they can easily uh, open their phone and uh, use the application and uh, they can extend their time duration through the app. So I think it's uh, very efficient for the members and conference. And so we um, like imagine a feature like this to add our IEEE app. Thank you. Yeah. And then finally, wait, 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 yeah. finally, because everybody's <laughs> doing these like really cool, fun things, right? And uh, all of us in the UPP program, um, I think the reason why it got started off on such a good note is that uh, we had a, a fun workshop to begin the talk and begin the whole weekend on a like really lighthearted way. We uh, used these Arduinos and we all sewed it into our shirts and they all blink for IEEE and it's great. So what we did is that we think like a table like this would be really great at the start of the talk and a little message to people asking them, hey, would you mind drawing a dragon? And I'm sure that nobody has like, well, maybe somebody has an incredible artistic skill and can draw a realistic dragon. Think about that for a second, a realistic dragon. Um, but I think it's more interesting to see what people come up with when you just give them a bunch of materials and a sort of undefined task. And uh, that's a really good way for people to start talking to each other. And um, also, in terms of like uh, audience mitigation, if somebody is like, playing around with their hands. I would much prefer them playing around with like a pipe cleaner than say their laptop or an iPhone during the technical presentations. So uh, I think that sounds pretty interesting. So here's our dragons. You guys don't have to vote on which one's the best because we all no, know. you do. <laughs> Yo, you do have to vote. <laughs> uh, so can I get a show of hands for my dragon? Which, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Well, thank you very much, everyone. Appreciate thank you. it.